Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, I'll start off with a statement uh, which goes like this. Um, it is now six days since MH370 disappeared. There are currently 43 ships and 40 aircraft searching for it. 26 ships and 25 aircraft in the South China Sea and 17 ships and 15 aircraft on the Straits of Malacca. We are grateful for the assistance from around the world. With us, every passing day, the task becomes more difficult. And as always, our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those on the flight. Trust me, we will spare nothing in our efforts to find MH370. Before I take qu any questions, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to clear up uh, a few issues. Firstly, being on the engine data. I would like to refer to news reports suggesting, suggesting that the aircraft may have continued flying for some time after last contact. As Malaysian Airlines will confirm shortly, those reports are inaccurate. The last transmission from the aircraft was at 0107, which indicated that everything was normal. Rolls-Royce and Boeing teams are here in Kuala Lumpur and have worked with MAS and the investigations team since Sunday. These issues have never been raised. Whenever there are new details, they must be corroborated. Since today's media reports, MAS has asked Rolls-Royce and Boeing specifically about the data. As far as Rolls-Royce and Boeing are concerned, those reports are inaccurate. On the Chinese satellite imagery, a Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency surveillance plane was dispatched this morning to investigate potential debris shown on Chinese satellite images. We deployed our assets but found nothing. We have contacted the Chinese Embassy who notified us this afternoon that the images were released by mistake and did not show any debris from MH370. The third issue that I need to clarify is on the FAA directive. The aircraft has been fully serviced and was fit to fly according to engineering and maintenance records. All maintenance checks were in order. The last routine maintenance service was conducted on the 23rd of February, 2014. The next service was due on the 19th of June. On the radar signals, it is suggested that there was a possibility that an aircraft had passed over the Straits of Malacca. We have a duty to investigate any possibility. We owe it to the families of those on the flight to follow up every lead and on that basis, we dispatch extra ships and aircraft to search the area. However, our main effort has always been in the South China Sea. We are working very closely with the FAA and, and the NTSB on the issue of the possible turn air back, air turn back, sorry. They have indicated to us that based on the information and data given by the Malaysian authorities, they being FAA and NTSB, the U.S. team was of the view that there were reasonable grounds for Malaysian authorities to deploy resources to conduct search on the western side of the peninsula of Malaysia. Under the circumstances, it is appropriate to conduct a search even if the evidence suggests there is a possibility of finding even a minor evidence to suggest that the, uh, the vessel, the aircraft, would have been there. The fifth issue, ladies and gentlemen, is about raw data. As I am sure you can understand, we would not ordinarily release raw data from our military radar. But in this case, we have put the search effort above our national security. We have shared our data with our international partners, including the US and China, to help with the search efforts. Six police investigation into the pilots. Reports suggesting that the Malaysian police searched the homes of the MH370 crew are not true. And the Royal Malaysian Police have issued a statement to that effect. Finally, Malaysia's response. I want to touch on the question of Malaysia's response. First, this situation is unprecedented. MH370 went completely silent whilst over the open ocean. We are in the middle of a multinational search involving many countries and more than 80 ships and aircraft. This is a crisis situation 
it is a very complex operation and it has not always been easy. We are devoting all our energies to the task at hand and I want to be very clear, our focus has been on finding the aircraft. We have not done anything that could jeopardize this search effort. There are times when we have not been able to reveal information, for example, some radar signals, because they require analysis and confirmation by other agencies before they are being released. To release such information before it was ready could have compromised the investigation or the search efforts, and which will add anguish to the relatives. Malaysia has nothing to hide. We have spared no expense and no effort. From day one, we have been in regular contact with our neighboring countries and accepted all international offers for help, to help. We have followed protocols as stipulated by the International Civil Aviation Organization since the incident began. Much has been made about the extension of the search areas. Some claim that Malaysia has slowed down the search. That is totally not true. In fact, we have intensified the search. Again, let me be clear, there is no real precedent for a situation like this. The plane vanished. We have extended the search area because it is our duty to follow every lead, and we owe it to the families. And trust me when I say we will not give up. Questions? Okay. Hold on. We'll start with the mission. Please. Dari daripada Kita tak nak tuduh menuduh Kerana saya dah mengatakan tadi Bahawa usaha kita Hari ini merupakan usaha bersama Tidak pernah dalam sejarah Di mana kita lihat Begini ramai Aset-aset daripada pelbagai negara Tampil ke hadapan untuk membantu Mungkin ada sebab-sebab tertentu Pihak-pihak tertentu yang ingin melaga-lagakan keadaan tetapi ini tidak akan berhasil kerana niat dan naiwai tu kita ialah untuk mencari pesawat berkenaan dan ini penting untuk saya tekankan di sini kerana saya agak terharu sampai hari ini masih lagi ada negara-negara tertentu yang ingin menghantar aset dan membantu dalam kerjasama operasi yang cukup kompleks ini Tolong. transmission was done at 107 local time right? and that was the last transmission that we ever received from the aircraft. It did not run beyond that. 107. Unfortunately, no. Uh, can you please clarify reports that there were actually one of the passengers on board who had flying experience, background of the flight crew, and also has that been requested by the US to lead the investigation? And do we have experts to do this investigation study? Notable. On the surface. Can you ask me how from please identify? Telah dijawab tadi. Okay, 
berkenaan dengan uh, uh, pesawat itu terbang 4 jam uh, itu adalah uh, boleh tak betul pasal the last transmission yang kita dapat adalah uh, 1.7 minit pagi waktu Malaysia uh, itu saya itu saya kita sekarang uh, sedang apa kita uh, or rather we have contacted both the possible source of the data Rolls Royce dengan Boeing and both have said that they did not receive the data Dia ada dua tiga uh, siasatan yang dilakukan uh, serentak Tetapi uh, yang paling penting daripada awal lagi saya nyatakan bahawa tumpuan kita ialah untuk mencari pesawat berkenaan Jadi semua maklumat yang ada ni kita kena tumpukan kepada usaha mencari dahulu dari segi siasatan-siasatan lain yang menyentuh kepada keselamatan Sama ada ianya terorisme atau keselamatan berhubung kait dengan penumpang dan pilot kru kita Ini telah pun dijawab oleh Tan Sri IGP kita lebih awal Dan bagi saya ianya akan berterusan Dan saya boleh nyatakan di sini setiap nama yang ada di dalam manifest itu sedang dikaji dan diteliti bukan sahaja oleh agensi risikan kita tetapi agensi daripada negara-negara berkenaan. Yes, as long as we do not find any uh, uh, debris or any indication of the uh, aircraft, we will expand the efforts. We will inform you where and when. And for your information, tomorrow uh, I've proposed to the uh, military to have a tactical, technical uh, briefing to the media regarding all the assets that have been deployed, both by us and those from the countries. The technical capabilities, for example, the P3 Orion and all the other vessels uh, will be briefed to the media tomorrow to indicate the sophistication of the equipment that we have in our hands at the moment and how we are deploying it. Yes, yes. Identify yourself, please.
alat tu memang ada dan uh, saya mengesahkan bahawa kita tidak ada uh, apa terima uh, apa-apa um, signal daripada semua alat-alat yang ada ini yang menyebabkan kita agak sukar untuk memberi uh, maklumat yang lebih terperinci berkait dengan doa dan uh, usaha kita sama ada di Mekah atau dalam usaha-usaha lain saya memang agak terharu dan bukan sahaja um, Oh, mereka yang beragama Islam tetapi semua rakyat Malaysia yang pelbagai agama telah tampil ke hadapan dalam satu per, ke, kesatuan yang uh, amat uh, saya hargai dalam keadaan sebegini rupa kita boleh kita boleh ikhtiar tetapi akhirnya Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yang akan tentukan I have not heard of that particular report, but I can believe it's not true. So, uh, I've been consistent from the beginning. Uh, semua maklumat yang di luar sana, kalau tidak dapat verification, tidak dapat pengesahan, ia pertamanya akan membantut dan menjejaskan operasi kita. Contoh, berhubung kait dengan maklumat berhubung kait dengan satelit daripada China. Pagi ini kita terpaksa hantar aset-aset kita untuk mengesahkan samanya ia benar atau tidak. Dan akhirnya ia merupakan sesuatu yang tidak benar. Ini menjejaskan operasi kita. Keduanya, maklumat-maklumat yang tidak ada uh, penjelasan dan verification Uh, ianya boleh menyentuh kepada perasaan ahli keluarga itu sendiri Memberi harapan yang akhirnya tidak benar Dan di sini saya nak baca Apa yang telah uh, dinyatakan oleh uh, kedutaan China Berupa kait dengan satelit Saya dah dapat pengesahan daripada dutanya Untuk membenarkan saya baca Word for word and I quote The publication of the satellite image Is an accident A personal behavior to put it in on the website of Sestin. The government neither authorized nor endorsed the behavior which is now under investigation. The image has not been confirmed, is to be connected with the plane. His Excellency, Ini Duta, China, wishes to reiterate that on our side, we will at the first time inform your side of whatever important developments for verification. Yang for verification tu saya tambah. Dalam uh, dalam uh, insiden ini kita telah melihat kembali we play back di 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 recording recording sebelum hilangnya pesawat dari radar dan seterusnya dan tidak ada lang tidak ada langsung distress signal yang direkodkan dalam rakaman tersebut tunggu bentar ada kalau tak dapat detect then you don't know it's not in our record The Indian Ocean Shirts. That's 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 why we are expanding, intensifying our 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 search into the into the Andaman Sea, and we have cooperation from the Indian government to likewise uh, help us in the search in like India. Yes, we are working with radar. We are asking our neighboring countries for radar that that uh, should be able to help us. That's okay. under investigation. Okay, now we go to the international circuit. Please. Yes. We lose the aircraft at the point of 
when we transfer the response the, the responsibility from Malaysia flight information region into the Vietnam flight information region to Ho Chi Minh City Air Traffic Control Center. We lost the aircraft from our radar at that particular stage called Igari. And that's what we know from our secondary radar. And that's it. So if you ask where the aircraft is now, it's easy for us to find it, but we are searching the area and we are not able to find anything on any object from the aircraft. Look at the gentleman at the end of this. To be absolutely precise, I think MES have got the route right to that. <laughs> Uh, Rolls-Royce and Boeing did not receive any further transmission beyond the last transmission that was done at 107. data is programmed on what we call certain event triggers. Okay? Like for example, upon takeoff, upon climb, reaching the top of climb, and then uh, depending on whether you program it to report every waypoint, right, or you can program it every 30 minutes interval into the flight, or assuming that, uh, no, not assuming, or when there are abnormalities within any of the systems, whether engine or airframe or other things. And it will then send down data to say that something is not right. But the last transmission received at 107 state that everything is operating normally. Okay, the gentleman from the list, yes. No, question from Times Now. My question is regarding the cell phone data of the passenger. Has that any come out of any investigation into that? We are, we are still doing the investigation on it. We are looking at all possibilities. First, we have to establish and uh, reiterate, really, uh, what our chief of the Air Force said yesterday, that there is a possibility of uh, a turnback. Um, the military radar does not indicate what aircraft it is. We are verifying that with uh, FAA and NTSB. Secondly, as strong as the, the, the route in which it is, it is taken, personally, I would like to wait until uh, FAA and NTSB look at the uh, raw data, which I said in my earlier statement that we don't normally share 
which, uh, with the others, but in the present unique situation, we have uh, actually released it to them. Yes. But I cannot confirm it yet. I've heard many incidents from many uh, sources, and like I said, uh, from the start, we have looked at every lead, and in most cases, in fact, nearly in all the cases um, that we have pursued, we have not found uh, anything positive. But uh, we are continuing with the leads um, that is available. On that particular incident, I do not have details of it. I will check uh, with the uh, APMM. Hold on. We have not ruled it out uh, far from it. And secondly, we didn't say the plane vanished in thin air. We just said vanished, and we are still searching for it. There have been occasions in the past.